plate tubes to investigate different vibration modes of the plates at varying frequencies supplied by a mechanical oscillator. In these vibration modes, the sand will form distinct nodal lines. A node is a point that has zero amplitude while surrounding points have non-zero amplitudes as the plate vibrates. Therefore, the sand will collect on the more stable nodal lines. In the string vibration video, the nodes were the parts of the string staying still, and the antinodes were the peaks of the sine waves. In two dimensions, there are many of these nodes that come together to form collections of points with zero displacement. We are going to attempt to excite a few systems to find the nodes. As you can see with the circular plate, these nodes are where the sand has formed a circle around the center of the plate. At other points, the sand is shaken off the plate or moves to a node due to the changing displacement. As we increase frequency, we can see a variety of different arrangements of nodes called mode shapes. The symmetry of the circle means that the nodal lines will generally be circular as well. Next, we'll see the nodes on an offset circle plate. This is the same circular plate, but now it is offset from the center of the circle. It is important to understand that we are viewing only some of the mode shapes here. It is easier to locate more strongly excited modes, but it is important to note that there are other modes occurring in between the ones shown. Now, let's look at a square plate. As you may notice, the first few mode shapes at lower frequencies are interesting, but not nearly as complex as those shown at the higher frequencies. Increasing the frequency at which a system vibrates increases the complexity of the mode shapes. Next, let's look at a violin shape plate. The violin plate is a geometrically complex shape, providing for equally complex node shapes. The location of the vibration nodes are a crucial detail in instrument design, such as in violins. As shown, the patterns created at increasing frequencies are very different from each other. Violin makers commonly use cladney patterns to help adjust the symmetry of their design to adjust sound quality. These patterns are very important to help tune the resonances of the instrument. 